To do the job, you'll need a hobby knife, some zap glue and kicker, some 3M painter's tape, and a couple of metal straight edge rulers. To help keep the ruler from slipping, I like to add some stick-on sandpaper to the back of the ruler. This gives it some grip while making the cut. First stack the balsa wood sheets on top of one another, and then place the ruler on top. For 3 inch wide sheeting, a 4 or 5 inch long splice cut is about right. Next. Hold the knife vertically and make several light cuts until you cut all the way through both sheets. Place the angle edges together and check their fit. If the cuts aren't square and vertical, use a sanding bar to lightly dress and square the ends for a nice tight fit. Next place the sheets together and apply a strip of tape and rub it down to hold the pieces together tightly. Now flip the sheets over and lift slightly so the splice opens up like a book. Apply some medium or thick glue along the splice seam. Lay the sheets down and use some scrap wood to remove the excess adhesive. Sand the seam lightly with a sanding bar and apply a fine mist and zip kicker glue accelerator. Sanding the splice forces wood dust into the splice and that acts as a filler. Once the glue is set, flip the sheet over, remove the tape, sand the splice, and apply a little more kicker. So here we have the splice in the uh, finished wing of the triplane build. And uh, one of the things you need to remember is that you don't want to stack your splices on top of one another. So if you have one splice here, you want to make sure that the next splice on the other side is about a foot away. That'll give you maximum strength.